Cindy Ansel here, and welcome to the Lake Worth Beach City Library. I'm the library director and happy to be celebrating our 80th year in this beautiful building. The building was opened in 1941 after 15 years of fundraising by the residents of Lake Worth. L.T. McGee, the library board chairman, described the building and its furnishings as the best money could buy. City dignitaries proclaimed the library to be a great cultural center, adding to the city's beauty. Julia Simmons, city librarian, noted that it was safe to say that no town in Florida could boast of a more attractive reading center. Let's see what they were bragging about. Our Mediterranean-style library was designed by Mr. Morton, and uh, the library cost $61,000 to So this is the main lobby of the library. This is where um, you can, there's business services, copying, faxing, scanning that can be done here. And also we have a library assistant here that can help you find what you're looking for. We have a self-checkout. And over to the north side of the library, come this way. <laughs> This is our uh, adult area. This is our fiction collection. And in the center here, are, that is our uh, new book area. We have hundreds of bestsellers for people to check out. When we had the library repainted and reorganized, we discovered the original bookcases that had been made specifically for our library. And you can tell them because they had the LW on the end. They had been hidden behind other bookcases, so we were very excited when we found the original, the original bookcases that had been designed for the library. Also, it's in storage right now, but they also designed tables and chairs uh, for the library too. They really spared no expense. Um, in the article when the library opened, it stated that the furnishings were the best that money could buy. So if we continue on, on the north side, here's another original bookcase. This is more of our fiction collection here. As you can see, we have quite a nice fiction collection. And then wrapping around the fiction collection, these are the biographies. This collection is here because fiction and biographies are the most popular parts of the collection circulating. In fact, uh, when we looked at the statistics when we were reorganizing things, we discovered that mysteries uh, were the most popular role. We have a very large mystery collection and we're, we're buying even more since those are a lot of what people like to read. Okay, we'll go back out this way. Our pretty plants at the doors were donated by the friends of the library and they're called Swiss cheese philodendron and they are alive. I also wanted to mention the art that we have in the library, the paintings that are in the fiction room and over here in the children's room are by Shirley Winton and they were donated to the library. The largest painting is called The Sailing of the Spanish Armada. Okay, we'll walk down the central hall. You can see some of the pretty staircases in the library with our wrought iron handrails. Uh, this area has our video collection, 
uh, our audiobook collection. You can see some of those shelves are empty. You might wonder why. It's because so many people now are downloading audiobooks, uh, ebooks, rather than, than using the discs. So we are keeping a few of them, but encouraging people to download the audiobooks from our e collection. And we'll be using that space for something else. Good. Okay, this is our Spanish collection. And it has uh, adult and children's um, books that are in Spanish. We have classics, but we also some have some of the uh, current uh, Spanish authors here. And we continue on the central corridor here. And this gets us into the uh, young adult collection of fiction. And you'll notice we have a pretty light fixtures and ceiling and floors that were all part of the um, original building when it was built. Uh, this originally was an outdoor patio, uh, but was closed in when they decided to make this room part of the library. We'll go look at this room. This room is um, called the Strait Museum. It was built separately from the library. And um, as an art museum, the Strait Brothers, who lived in uh, Ohio, donated $10,000 to build an art bank. They wanted to build an art museum, uh, but the city said, we really don't want an art museum, we want a library, <laughs> but you can build us a bank. So they built this and had the paintings that you saw in the rest of the library were displayed in here, uh, the Strait Museum. It has its own entrance from Lucerne, and it has um, beautiful ceilings, uh, light fixtures, and it has very nice doors, the uh, hand door handles and are, are really fancy. When we had children's programs in here, they like to call it the castle because the doors reminded them of castle doors. So it's just, um, they're solid wood, and I'm not sure we have used to them anymore. <laughs> but. Okay, so here's another example of our fine, fine doors and um, uh, the fixtures on the doors, which I really love. Okay, walk across here, which is, I used to, as I said, used to, at one time was open here. And we have a staircase that goes up to a third floor room, which is currently under um, restoration. We're making it a Florida room to house our oldest books and some of the rare books we have that are about Florida. So that will be there. And we get to go up these stairs. This is the Create Lab which is um, part of the children's room, which is the whole south wing of the library. In this area, we have computers for kids to do homework, play games, do projects. And um, we have some that are the, the desktop computers, but most of the computers that the kids use today are the laptops and the iPads. So they, um, we don't have to have them on the tables at all. So this is the Create Lab. This area houses the children's nonfiction. This is an area we've really done a lot of um, updating. We had a very old collection, but now we have nice new nonfiction books with great pictures. And they're at a reading level that some of our beginning readers can um, enjoy the nonfiction. And then we're back to the front of the library. This is the children's fiction area. There's readers, there's uh, junior fiction, there are picture books, and up over there we have the board books. So we have a large children's collection that um, is popular. Mm -hmm. 
I forgot to mention that when we were in the back in the meeting room, I called it the Straight Museum, the art uh, wing, but that room is being converted into a meeting room, a community meeting room. Our town needs uh, small meeting rooms for people, so that's being converted into a meeting room. We're also going to do our story time programs in there, and so we can do evening programs, since it has its own entrance. So we're really happy to be able to move our children's room to the front and put that uh, lovely room in the back to good use. These paintings here in the uh, children's room are also by Sherman Winton. Um, he, he did a number of other paintings that are in storage now, the religious paintings. We also own quite a few of um, Mr. Slappich, Sam Slappich's uh, wood carvings, and they are up in the Florida room. So we're, we're going to be working on that room and make it available for people to see some of the other things the library owns. But just as a recap, our library was opened in 1941, so it's 80 years old. Um, we have about 50,000. Uh, books in our collection. We have 10,000 square feet. As I told you before, it costs $61,000 to build. And unlike most buildings in Florida, we have a basement where we have our staff break room, but also storage and a workroom down there. Um, has it flooded? A couple of times, but not while I've been here. So hopefully it will stay dry. But we do have a basement. We have um, many levels, lots of steps. Um, so we have this first floor. We have the second floor. Uh, and then we have the third floor. So. so thanks for walking with me around the library.